Hey, this is a match once again. What about the other videos that I paid request this time for Bobby? Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requests in any type of videos, topics, reactions, commenters, what have you, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And I also have a second YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe to that. That'll be down below, as well as an Odyssey channel on their website, which has a lot of my older videos on there, as well as these other videos archived. And again, if you've sent in a request, I will get to it as soon as I can. This is, like I said, for Bobby, who wanted me to talk about Rega, God of the Monsters, which I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. So I'll just say God of the Monsters. It's a sequel to a film I had talked about before, and I thought this was really lame. I thought it flat out sucked, to be honest. Let me put it this way. In the end of the film, it's a about a big monster, Godzilla-like, taking over a city. I know, how original, huh? At the end of the film, the monster bends over and pees. He pisses over the city to mark his territory. And afterward, there's a big old rainbow that shows up. Literally, the monster just bends over like this, you know, bends over, lifts his tail up, and urine just comes out over the the city. Well, I mean, there's talk about being pissed off. That that's what this movie is. That's the kind of movie this is. It's trying to be very much comedic. Very much ton in cheek compared to the first, because the first was about in World War Two, and at the end, like it's a monster movie with some comedic elements and some serious elements. But then it becomes super serious, and everybody dies at the end. <clears throat> but then this, like I say, it's a sequel kind of where. This big bonefish is fighting the monster, and there's lightning, so I don't know if he got the quickening from the Highlander. And it comes down, destroys the ship, and you see it rise out with the big bonefish and breaks his back and makes him humble as if he was the Iron Sheik. And then cut to you sometime later, and there's these two people on a boat attacked by some more bonefish that jump onto them. And for some reason, the boat blows up. I don't know if the boat had a heart attack and blew up or what happened, but there's no reason for that boat to blow up, but it does. Apparently, if a fish eats you, um, are you filled with natural glycerin in your bloodstream and you blow up along with the boat or what? So our main characters is a dad and his three daughters, and there's nothing to them other than the dad... The mom has passed, so the dad wants to find a, a new love of his life, but the daughters are very selfish... It's like, no, you can't have anybody else. Sorry. So, it's supposed to be goofy and silly, but I just found them unlikable. Uh, it's trying to be a comedy, but with the tr loss in translation, dialogue, the subtitles, you don't quite know if everything is translated correctly or not. It's, it's done very much on the cheap as well. There are times this looks like a really run-down TV show or t episode of a TV show in terms of effects, in terms of editing. Like, there's a point where a scientist is looking at this bonefish and it kills a guy, but it kills him by bad editing and worse sound effects. Because he's fighting it, then it cuts to boom on here and the guy slumps and he gets some really goofy, cartoony sounding effects. Spear cartoony, there's a bit where the dad is trying to go out with a lady and the daughter beats up her dad. So you see her place her knee, like cuts to her knee placed on the dad's face. And this yellow light fart Nickelodeon cloud erupts as if trying to be like an anime thing. I don't know. 
I don't know what they were going for. I was meant to be silly and stupid, and I just thought it was stupid. So eventually the monster comes in, the guy and the monsters, and you know, the design of the creature's not bad. I mean, nothing remarkable, but not bad. And it's a man in a suit, it's not CGI. There's a lot of other elements are CGI, which was a bad choice, but you know, guy in a monster suit, there's a bit of a charm to that. The defense force comes in with their fighter jets, and apparently one time the monster takes a dump, and the dump lands, but it looks like a big old golden, like gold nugget. Like it looks like the thing's made of gold, but they say, it's shit. So is this movie. <clears throat> And they try to do jokes, like someone goes, It's Godzilla! No, 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 it's not Godzilla! I'm like, Dude, the worst Godzilla films I would rather watch than the this or the previous film. Shin Godzilla, as much as I don't like it, I'd rather watch than this. The the Godzilla where the, the kid has the daydreams about the baby Godzilla, son of Godzilla, the... What the hell was that one called? I forget. The one with the little kid that has his all fantasizing about being on Monster Island. I'd rather watch that than this. Not even trying to be funny. So the, the monster they fight, the defense force, and you think it's destroyed because it's missing for a few months and they're selling t shirts and stuff. It's trying to incorporate all this comedy, but it doesn't work. I didn't think any of it was funny. There's at one point they try to incorporate a stand-up com com comedy act, which fails. There's dialogue like, your face is not an idle face, but a handle face. I don't know what the hell that means. What does that mean? Your face is not an idle face, but a handle face. I don't know what the fuck that means. What does that mean? Sorry, I didn't mean to be so high-pitched and whiny. What does that mean? What did that line even mean to anything? So you have characters that I don't care about. Comedy that's not funny. Some of it's lost in translation. Because either bad subtitles or bad whatever. The acting is not the best anyway. The production feels like it's a reject TV show. A lot of the meetings from the Defense Force seem like it's all in the same small room. And probably the same of other rooms that just change a few details. The comedy involves either poo or at the end piss or other stuff. At one point the, the monster comes back. And is it an earthquake? And there's a bit where people are freeze frame themselves like... I don't mean the, the film freezes, I mean the people just freeze. And I kind of trust other people going... Just to be funny, and it's not funny. Taints and stealth bombers fight the monster. And the effects aren't that great. They really aren't. I mean, it's, it's nice it's a guy in a monster suit, but... You know, the models of the tanks, they look more like models than the Godzilla films in the 70s did. <laughs> and the, you got some lame CGI effects intermixed in there. Just really lame looking effects. And then another monster comes in. I don't know where the second monster came from. All of a sudden there's a second monster. Just happens to be a second monster. Not really much explanation, not really much build up. It just is what it is. And then they have a territory fight where they blast each other. One is left alive. At times I couldn't even tell which was which because the monsters almost looked the same, although I think one shot yellow and one shot red light with a the Godzilla type of 
And then the the remaining monster bends over and marches to ter ter Marches damn territory. Pisses. And then the end of the film is like they see that the whole city's like fucked. And they go, man, that monster is here to warn us on global warming. I don't know if it's trying to be a parody on... Well, there has to be some kind of message. Because a lot of these movies are about... The monster represents the nuclear age. Or the atomic bomb or something. So, this is maybe them trying to make fun of that. But it's done in such a poor fashion that... You know, if you're trying to be witty. Or if you're trying to be... Satire. When you're in mix that with monsters peeing and lame battles and lackluster comedy it really doesn't fit so I thought this was a absolute just a terrible monster movie it gets like a 3.79 to be I can see why it's just even like the monster suit you just go watch plenty of other monster movies that get better Better shit. <laughs> you know, people make fun of the, the humor in Godzilla 1998. It's way better than the humor in this. I just, I thought this was a really lame, shitty movie. Like I said at the beginning, if you don't end with a monster bending over and taking a leak over the city... Which, I don't know, does that mean it's a female monster? I don't know. It just, what more can you say, man? What more can be said? Can't even take all my glasses. We'll see you guys later. Does I just be repeating it? Oh, it's a sequel, loosely, because the comedian who's doing stand-up about his wife calls him Pig. He's the son of one of the military guys who's on the boat in the f previous movie. And then you have some bonefish in there as well. Which the monster doesn't even fight the big bonefish at the end. He's just destroying the city. That just happens to be bonefish pops up whenever by just uh, te technically you see they did it in the first book did this film did that film really need a sequel and now apparently there's a trilogy of these movies did that really need to happen oh it's also the same director who did that film death kappa which I know my friend my Michael Keen the choice voice. He hated that movie. So. This is the same type of business. But this director gets jobs. I have no idea why. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye.